Hello, adventurers. Season 10, new essences. I finally got the ones that I needed to make this build. I'm super excited to show you what I've come up with. This build requires the new main hand called the Excavator, the new pants called Scornbeak, the new chest named Hate Sheath. Excavator makes Impale, basically empowers your primary attack to also Impale as you shoot. And the way that works is every third attack doesn't impale. So it's one, two, three, and then it impales, one, two, three, impales. Because the way the Demon Hunter shoots, it's left, right, both. So during that three cycle, it's once every three uh, attacks. The Scornbeak Pants, it increases your primary attack by 30%. The chest increases your primary attack by 40%. It doesn't say here, but in the past notes, it says 40%. So you can get 40 30 plus your urge of 30 so that puts you to 100 percent attack speed plus whatever base attack speed that you have i have 17 so i can get 117 percent attack speed and it makes it feel like pre vithus fix and uh it feels pretty good so far all right and for my stats and gear so i'm running four piece urge two piece shell boss so four piece urge two two piece shell boss Call of Absolute Punishment, Hate Sheath, Chill Wrath Mantle, Scornbeak, the Excavator, and the Hunger. I don't like using the Bleed Offhand, which is this one, because things die too fast and you don't really need to bleed. Uh, plus, you lose a 19% crossbow damage. So, I don't think you should run the Bleed, but you can run the Bleed if you'd like. But personally, I think that the extra damage from the crossbow shot with the essence mastery is going to outweigh the damage from the bleed if you're running grace and you get the 15 percent from the two piece it may be more beneficial to run the bleed damage but because we're doing a lot of attacks i feel like just buffing your crossbow shot uh, yields the most damage for my stats 20,500 damage 13-2 combat rating my armor penetration potency resistance armor is here on the screen Crit chance, attack speed, move speed, block chance. And my reforges look like this. Two pieces currently with five of the Vengeance Family Stones. Two pieces with your primary attacks have a chance to reduce enemy attack and move speed. And I'm still grinding out the, the rest of these pieces to rank 26. All right. Impale. So normally, without the main hand, Impale just throws knives. It's a channeled ability. But with the main hand, this now counts as a buff. So when you pop your Impale, it will proc Urge and it procs Bottled Hope. Because now Impale counts as a buff. And you can see it up here in the top left. Impale counts as a buff. So that will proc your Urge. That will proc your Bottled Hope. Which is kind of cool. And like I said, every third attack will fire and impale so the faster that you can get through that cycle the more impales that you can do so with your impale with your daring swing and your vengeance you can see the impales on the top right of the channel so you can get a lot of attacks out and every single time that you do an impale you can add in 7200 damage roughly which can crit the sequence that you want to use, I just do Impale. I will use my Daring Swing over the enemies. I will pop my Vengeance. I will refresh my Impale. I will swing over the enemies. Add in my multi-shots here and there. Refresh my Impale. Swing over my enemies. Pop my Vengeance. Use my multi-shot. Refresh my impale. Swing over the enemies. So that's usually the sequence that I like to use. Alright, let's go to my favorite farm spot and see what this looks like. Alright, hit my impale. Swing over my enemies. Add in Vengeance. Oh no, someone here. Refresh my Impale. 
bring over my enemies. Yeah, it looks like someone's here. That's okay. I'm gonna ninja this spot. Refresh my impale. And obviously I have a crit shrine right now, so it speeds up this farming, but... Maybe they're not here. Be careful with canceling your vengeance because you can spam the ability and cancel it which i've done very early on when i first started using this build but you do have to be aware if you're a button spammer that you can cancel your vengeance so just be aware of that no I don't know why they're spam inviting me to party. Being trolled. They probably want to do vault defense. That's probably why. Or vault burying today. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Pre sweep. Pretty fun build. Makes uh me miss the prefix urge a lot. Alright, and let's see how this looks in a dungeon since COE is boosted this week. Let's go run some COE. I'll speed up the video through this. One thing to note though, you want to position yourself in a specific spot because of the way the targeting works on the chest. It's auto targets whatever's closest to you. So you gotta position yourself slightly to make it work. Usually I can get him to phase before with strafe and rain of vengeance, but uh, we'll see. I felt okay. I felt actually about the same as it always does. And that's going to do it for this video. Hope everyone enjoys the new content for Season 10. The new essences as well as the fishing. Which I haven't done at all. It'll probably take me months to get that stupid fishing rod. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.